Okay, and I am back with another video. Hopefully, it will go well because I'm actually uploading the nice slash one part on YouTube while I am recording this. But it's not the first time I did it, so I hope I I know it's not gonna be that bad on the game performance. I recreated braised meatballs, mapo tofu, and dumplings, all with pudding. You must finish each and every one of them. Sounds disgusting. Anyway, let's jump straight into it. Mission nine slash two. Now, the last time. There was some kind of thing here with a mirror system or something. It appears that it's not here anymore, I guess. Huh. Let's see what this mission has to offer. Fancy car. Always a good start. Our destination, the inner bay on the southwest shore of Dis Sea, the center of the former West District mining belt. During the great explosion of Dis Sea, the inner bay mining area was completely destroyed, and the coast became extremely uninhabitable due to the spreading mental contamination. Only civilians who don't want to join the gangs will be forced to settle here. They call this place the Drifter Camp. It was once seen as the slum of the Syndicate. That's sad when when a slum and like Syndicate has also a sub slam slum called the Drifter Camp. That's how worse are the living condition there. You can only imagine. Yeah, at first sight it doesn't look that bad. It's cleaner than than Syndicate. Shit girl, I'm asking myself the same question. No, of course you have it. Not long ago, this place was just an ordinary deserted building. The poor drifters paid extortion to the gangs for so many years and couldn't do anything to help themselves. Only after the fall of the gangs was the drifter camp free. They've been buttoned down for too long, and once the oppressors are gone, they're growing like weeds. I love it when the chief just goes bollocks and he just starts spewing question after question. Slow down, chief. Even this guy agrees with me. Traces of Parma here, but so far, I don't think they are working together. On the contrary, because of their disgust for the gangs and the chaos, weapons and the contamination they bring, the Drifter camp is rather hostile to everything related to Mania. They stockpiled Hypercube and built their own anti-mania equipment to protect the residents. Even when the gangs raged with mania a lot long ago, this place was clear from contamination. Resisting mania contamination without the support of FAC. Not just any ordinary drifters can do that. Yes, I've been monitoring the drifter camp for some time now. And there are indeed great talents here. As well as information that we have trouble getting our hands on. Yes, if it were a half a year earlier, you would have been able to get help from the Drifter Camp. But now, the situation is tricky. The fuck is this guy? 
That's right. The Drifter Camp is home to a large number of West District outlaws. Since there are now signs of mania there, and a relapse of BR-004 is involved, we can't complete the reconstruction without looking into this. The West District is a complicated area, and you need our authority to ensure personal safety and a smooth investigation. That's unrealistic thinking. Drifter Camp has built illegal constructions and has been arming themselves. They have defied management by stealing hypercubes, and recently we have seen them having more friction with the leftover gangsters. Those people are selfish, short-sighted, and ungrateful. They are already a serious threat to the new order in the West District and must be strictly monitored. Well, I can already figure out what kind of character this guy is. West District can't afford another riot like the Legion had, and it's important to take preventive measures. That is within your authority and responsibility. We assist, but do not interfere. So this is the situation. The sheriffs haven't cleaned up their mess, and the execs are acting too aggressively. Now the entire drifter camp lacks trust in the Dis City authorities. You won't be welcome with that uniform, and I can't guarantee what you'll encounter. Chief, are you mentally prepared? This guy obviously doesn't know us. <laughs> I'd rather not reveal my identity so early. If you encounter any problem, please consider using your personal charm to solve it first. The worst case scenario... That's a warm welcome, I guess. Stop! You motherfucker! Will! It's gangsters. Confirm there is a conflict between Drifter Camp and gangsters. Reporting it immediately and requesting backup. Request to enter Drifter Camp to investigate. Repeat. Uh, Chief, what should I do? I'd say it's an opportunity if you deal with the gangsters who are plaguing the Drifter Camp. Got to give you some brownie points. Snake charmers. Okay. It's a snake charmer. Someone to join the battle. Okay. Time for a little exercise. I'll relieve them of pain. Today's performance is about to start. Get ready to laugh your head off. I can hear it. Execution time.
You don't have to worry here. If you're wondering about my strategy, remember what I always say that I suck at this game. I just go up with a uh, full on aggressive formation every time and hope for the best, I guess. That's about that, I guess. They will suffer no longer. That is good. Well, oh, that was a short mission. I am at 12 minutes on my timer. It's better this way, it uploads faster to YouTube. Yeah, interesting start into the drifter camp thing. Still wondering where that mirror system is. Anyway, that's about it for this time. In the new year. I am gonna I've invited you over because I want you let this run like every time. Flavor of my pudding. Let's see if we get another line. I recreated braised nope. meatballs, mapo tofu, and dumplings. All that's still cute. You must finish each and every one of them. Disgusting though. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, I guess. And yeah, see you around next time. Okay, bye bye.